Okay, I'm now going to show you guys how do we make the use of the coupling capacitors. As you can see, there's uh, two physical chips. One is the 555 timer. The other one is the 14-pin JK flip-flop chip. Now, we need uh, two decoupling capacitors. Okay, one to protect the uh, 555 timer connected to the VCC and the ground of the chip. Okay. The other one is to protect the JK flip-flop connected to PCC and ground the chip as well. So right now I prepared two small capacitors and on the logical diagram all I need is to connect the PCC schema and the ground schema and connect them this way. So that the capacitors are across PCC and ground. Okay? It doesn't really matter if they are not physically connected close to the to the other two to the diagram of the chips because this is a logical representation. A schematic diagram is a logical representation. Okay. So right now after finish uh, what we want to do is we have to go and translate and I'm gonna show you guys how we translate uh, to a two layer PCB. We've been doing one layer PCB so far. So this time round we're gonna do something different. Instead of uh, doing the technology file single sided PDF, we're gonna use a uh, default technology. Let's change it to means. Then we'll go to links. Now we can select a two layer board. Okay. And we just turn on the solder mask on the top and the bottom side. And then the rest you can leave it as default and we can go to next. We can leave the box size as default as well. We can adjust that later. We go to next. Uh, let's arrange the components outside the board and we can manually do placement. So we go to next. And you keep the name, you, you can name your PCB. In this case, I name it as default. And I click on finish. I'm going to do some manual placement of the chip in the components. Right. So I'm going to place the two chips and the component nicely. And okay, this is a uh, what happens after I place the chip and the component. If you look closely, okay, my C4 and C3 are actually my decoupling capacitor and they are actually physically put very close to the ICs and C4 connected to VCC and the ground of U1 and C3 connect near to the VCC and ground of U2 C4 is to protect U1 and C3 is to protect U2 Now, before we do any routing okay, we want to that some spacing so make sure our units is at news and we go to design technology okay. um, and let's start by looking at the track so we define the track size for both normal signal and power so for today's lesson let's uh, try signal put it at 20 and power we make it take a 30 mil so be good um, we can put minimum slightly smaller than norm but today we're going to make it the same so the mean and the norm are the same right. and followed by we will click on NETS so these are the name NETS and we want to make sure that VCC is the power class while ground is the ground class and the rest are signal class so we go to NET class we make sure that the type is power from both ground and power and the red and signals is basic. Right. Now we want to set our spacing. Today we're going to set our spacings for track to track as 20 mils between tracks. That's the spacing gap. So we apply for track to pair, track to pair. We're going to do that for track to shape as well. The rest we're going to leave it. Um, okay. And for pairs to pair. We're going to change that to 20 as well. The rest we will leave it. Okay. 
for pets to dog is optional if you you want to make it smaller. And you close it, you apply, and then you click OK. Right. Now we'll show you layers, uh, the concept of layers. Now we have a two layer PCB. If you click on layers, you can see a whole sort of different layers. Right? And if you look carefully at the bottom, okay, later when I select this net, you can take a look again at the bottom. Okay, it says top couple. Right? Okay. What we can do is you can press L or we can right click and click on track layer as well to change to okay, another layer in this case bottom copper right so now you can see that I have my bottom copper okay so now I'm gonna route the decoupling capacitors first remember the rule is to route which as short and close to the chip itself so I'm routing on the bottom copper track route the VCC and I route the ground this is C and long ground is below right. right sometimes you I find that your routing is a bit <coughs> coarse if you want to fine tune the angles you can put the 50 mil working grid and then put to half grid that will make your routing finer Okay, you can see now the recovery capacitors are just directly close to the IC, right? Instead of going one big round, then it will not make, it will not serve the purpose of a decoupling capacitor. Now, you can continue on from here to round the rest of the lines. What I'm going to show you guys is how do I uh, change to a different layer. If you realize I'm still at bottom couple, I cannot round across here because that will become a short circuit, right? So I, while on this routing mode, I can again press right click and click on track layer. And now I am at a different layer. I am at the top couple, which is red in color. So I can route across and it doesn't really affect the line. We will not short circuit that. So right now I'm going to show you guys efficient use of VRs. So right now, for example, I'm going to route on the bottom. I'm on the bottom copper layer right now. I want to route one line across. Right. So first I route on the bottom layer. Okay, sorry, I route on the top layer. And then I can't go across. I can press L immediately and then you can see that this yellow thing is actually a VR and actually switch to a different layer to continue routing.